Hello everybody and welcome to Doing Stuff and Things. Today we're doing stuff at this beach. Now, this beach is apparently a great place to take a baby. I have a new baby, so this pertains to me. There's another beach called Baby Beach in Kapa'a, but it's notoriously busy and full. And not always full of the kind of people you want to share beach space with, if you know what I mean. Ice and meth. Anyhow, this beach would be great. Could be great. It's got all the perfect features. A rock wall holding out the surf when it's relatively calm. If it's big surf, it's going to crash over no matter what. But usually, this rock wall creates a barrier. So inside the rock wall, it's like a calm lagoon. Maybe a slight current, but otherwise shallow, sandy in some places, um, warm because it's shallow, and protected from the waves. So it's a great place to take a baby. They can just sit in the sand waist deep and play and enjoy themselves. The problem with this beach is the Portuguese man of war. Now, if you're local, you're gonna call it Portuguese. Anyway, Portuguese man of war, they're like a jellyfish. And they're mean. No, they're awful. I mean, they got these long, it's, it's like a jellyfish, right? So you got these long tentacle things, tendrils, whatever. And they're full of like a million stingers with poison that hurt. And it's just, it's not gonna ruin your life unless you have some random allergy. But it's gonna sting and it's gonna ruin your day and probably the next three days. The initial sting isn't nearly as bad as the itching that follows. I was bodyboarding at Pounders in Oahu years ago and one wrapped up my arm. It's a mess. I guess if you pee on it, it's supposed to ne uh, neutralize the venom. All that aside, this beach is riddled with man of war. Last time I was here with my daughter, one went floating right by and it's like, nope, we're out, gotta go. Came back today thinking, oh, I could find a good spot, you know, because they're supposed to come in cycles and maybe I just hit it on the cycle every time. Well, check this out. Tiny little strip of beach. Let's count these man of war together.
way these horrible little monsters work is they have a little air sac and that keeps them floating right on the surface and then the wind just blows them and the currents they just drift aimlessly until their tentacle tendril things find something to wrap around and inject their venom into and ruin their day. Check out the sand as you're walking along the water or into the water. If you see a little air bubble with some blue goop around it, yeah, don't swim there, just go. There was this one time up at Anini Beach, uh, my wife and I, we were just gonna take a dip in this little tide pool. It's surrounded by rocks, protects the big waves from coming in. It's a great little spot to just soak and get away from the heat of the day for a little bit. And this nice little kid runs up and says, hey mister, watch out, there's man of war. And I was like, oh no. So we had to get out and go find somewhere else to take a dip. Always have a plan B. And as we're packing up to leave, this lady with her daughter comes and they're going to get in this little pool. So I'm like, hey lady, watch out. You know, there's, there's man of war in here. She says to her daughter, it's okay, honey, get in. We'll see him. And I'm like, lady, you know these things are invisible, right? And moral of the story is um, situational awareness. Make sure there's nothing that's going to ruin your day that's washing up onto the sand before you get in the water. See you next time.